Hi everyone, Karen from Craft Karen Designs here. Um, today I haven't got a finished project to show you, um, but I'm going to make um, a box uh, with some um, little note cards in it, <coughs> and I'm going to use the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set again. Um, I think I'm a bit addicted to this stamp set. I've used it loads and loads and loads, and the great thing about it is it's free with celebration. So. Um, for every forty-five pounds you spend in the catalogue, you can buy, you can choose um, an item from the celebration brochure, and um, this is the item that I've used the most. Um, I just absolutely love it. Um, but I'm going to do this project, and then I think I might put it away for a, for a little while because you're probably all bored to death with it, um, because my blog has had quite a lot of um, projects with this on it just lately. But hey ho, I really like it, so I'm going to use it again. So today I'm going to make some little note cards, four by four note cards, um, to go in a little box. So I've already stamped a few. Um, the light's a bit bright in here. I've stamped a, a pink and um, a gorgeous grape, and also a balmy blue somewhere. There we go. Um, and I'm going to put them all together with you and I'm going to show you how to make the box and I'm going to do I'm going to complete the final one which I'm going to do in um, Grapefruit Grove and I'm going to stamp the one for the lid in Grapefruit Grove as well so I'll talk you through the sizes as we're going through so we'll make the box first um, and then that can be drying while we're stamping. So you need a piece of thick whisper white um, which measures, this is the base, six and a quarter by six and a quarter and you need to score at one on all four sides. Really simple box. Oops. And for the lid, we've got a piece which is six and five sixteenths square. And again, needs to score at one inch all the way around. The extra one sixteenth is just um, to make the lid a tiny little bit bigger so that it will close properly. So fold and burnish all of these this is just a really simple straightforward box and once you know how to make these simple boxes you can make one for any size that you need so I'm going to cut up the score lines the horizontal and just notch them out slightly on all four corners. I hope you're all taking advantage of celebration. There are some fabulous offers on at the moment, some really pretty things that you can get for absolutely nothing. Bargain. Um, and Stampin' Up! have just released a second lot of um, free products. So if you have a look on my blog later on today, um, you'll be able to see what these products are. <coughs> some more stamp sets and some lovely um, design series paper and some um, vellum as well. Right, you need to put some glue on all of these tabs. And then you just put the folded edge to the cut edge on each corner, line it up as carefully as you can and give it a press. So it's the folded edge to the cut edge 
all four sides. Do exactly the same with the base. I'm sorry if you can hear the noise outside, we've got um, building work going on close by. Don't know what we're doing, but we're making an awful racket. So, again, just Putting up each of these score lines up to make tabs on each corner and give it a little wedge to get rid of the bump. There we go. And again, glue on each of the four tabs. can see all right it looks a bit bright I've tried with the blinds up down closed open I think I might have to move my classroom around now I've got this new camera doesn't seem to um, like it too much here so please bear with me I will get it right eventually again Cut edge to folded edge each time, in each corner. And with any luck, not lid, should fit the box. There we go. That's a lovely, nice, tight fit. So we'll leave that just, just to finish drying because we're going to decorate it. So we'll put that over there for now. Okay, so I'm using um, pre-bought cards, um, pre-scored, because I bought a lot of these uh, at Christmas for my granddaughters to um, to make their own Christmas cards, because I didn't want them wasting my um, lovely Stampin' Up card. So I thought I'd just finish them off um, and just make a little box of note cards with them. So these are 4x4 four four note cards. just a really good size to put in these boxes because there's plenty of room inside the box for those in the envelopes so what I've done is for I've stamped each one in a different colour as I said and this one I'm going to stamp in um, Grapefruit Grove so for each one I've got a piece of matching cardstock which is three and three quarters squared and then a stamping layer which is three and a half inches squared okay so I'm going to show you how, how I stamped the design on the others and I'm going to use Grapefruit Grove I think this was one of the first colours I ever bought really like it so um, as I said I'm using this thought for blooms and I'm going to use this sort of swirly pattern um, and I'm just going to randomly stamp in sort of an L shape like that there we go and then there are lots of little flowers in this set so you can mix and match um, choose whichever ones you like I've got the one with the um, with the lined pattern on it I've just put one of those in each in the centre of each of the swirly bits and this is a little star flower that I'm just going to put in the centre of those big flowers just to give it a bit of definition like that and I'm going to use this little tiny one to just stamp at the end of all these swirls they've 
pattern has got lots of bits that just finish and look as though they're, they're expecting you to stamp something on the end of them and I think they look great with these little blossoms on the end but you could put leaves on the end if you wanted to or more big flowers you could do whatever you want there's no right or wrong with this sort of stamping you just do whatever you like I think that's quite pretty and then I've got the hello from um, the Good Morning Magnolia. So I'm just going to stamp that at the top like that. And put that one to one side and I'm going to stamp um, a piece for the top of the lid as well. Now this one is three and three quarters squared because the box is obviously a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do the same sort of thing um, just a random pattern. Oops. Um, but I think on this one, I think I'll do it all over. Like that. So again, some little flowers in the middle. flower in the middle of that. I've seen this stamp set used in with lots and lots of different colours and it looks fabulous with whatever you use. Um, I saw a, a one sheet wonder that somebody had done on um, Facebook this morning and it was lots and lots of different colours. Um, spring colours and then she's she stamped all over a piece of A4 and then she's chopped it up and made a series of really pretty cards with it it's just fabulous love it but I do think I need to put it away for a little while try playing with something else there we go I think I've got all those close that up so I don't put my arm in it and we'll start putting these together so I haven't stamped anything on the inside of these cards um, because there's not really an awful lot of space so I just thought I'd leave them and uh, you can write whatever you want These are boxes of cards, are great for um, craft fairs. And just as little gifts. Friends, if you just need a, a small gift for somebody, they're great. I'm just going to glue all these layers down. one. I think that's really pretty. Do the Rococo Rose one there. Oops, sorry, not in shot. Place these in the centre of the card from leaving a little gap all the way around and the pink one this is also a great way of using up um, scraps of card stock I buy you buy I loads and I've got a drawer full of the stuff and then I was thinking oh, I'll use that again and the next time I get another big piece out and that up so I'm trying to use some of the massive quantity I've got in a drawer now I'll do the barmy blue one 
of the names of these collars that Stampin' Up! come up with. There we go, there's the blue one, give it a press. Stick this one down. And if you follow my blog, you'll have, you'll have seen over uh, during January I was taking part in a um, 31 day crafting challenge. And um, I managed it, I did a, a blog post for every single day for the month of January. It was a bit exhausting, um, but really good fun. So there are lots and lots of projects over there that you can have a look at um, to give you some inspiration. Um, and I'm starting a, a new YouTube series on fanciful cards. And I'm going to take you through from really simple ones to more co much more complicated ones over the weeks. So I hope you'll pop over to my YouTube channel. I'm Crafty Karen Designs on YouTube as well. Um, have a look over there and I'd love it if you could subscribe to that and to the blog because um, it helps me out a great deal. Gets my numbers up. I'm trying to get 200 subscribers on YouTube. Which doesn't sound very many in the great scheme of things but for me I've only just started so um, I think I'm doing okay. So I'll stick this one on here for the lid. As you can see, here's one I did earlier. I messed up. But there's two sides to a piece of card. So and nobody will see that. So I'll put that on there. And find I had to write L on the top to make sure I have got the little, got the right one for the lid because there's very tiny amount of difference between the two of them. So I'll add this to the lid. And add that to the centre of there. And then I think we'll just punch a little um, finger thing in the side, just so it's easier to get the lid off. Oops, flying card. There we go. So there we are. Four really quick, simple cards. Barmy blue. Rococo Rose, Grapefruit Grove and Gorgeous Grape and I've got four envelopes and they go in there really nicely, lid on the top, I hope you'll agree, really cute little gift or item for your craft fair. I hope you'll um, pop over to the blog and um, sub if you could subscribe to the blog, I'd be really grateful. That's at um, craftycarrindesigns.blogspot.com um, and I'd love it if you could subscribe to this video, to my YouTube channel, um, give it a thumbs up, show me any pictures of, of these cards that you make. I'd really like to see any projects that you make with these thoughtful blooms because as I said, I'm absolutely addicted. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye.